you know, but Phil, you're just so narrow-minded. You, you, you're, you're, you know, your your whole world evolves around your relationship to the God of Heaven, your faith. I mean, loosen up a little bit. That's just too narrow-minded. It may seem that way to some, but you got to realize. I mean, the road you have to get on from the get-go, according to the one that saved me, Jesus himself. It's a narrow road. Well, a narrow road begets narrow-mindedness. So the nature of following Jesus and not veering to the right or the left to participate in sinful, ungodly behavior you are narrow-minded. I am narrow-minded. I'm focused on the, my soul. I'm looking out at the world and there's so many trails and so many things, substitutes that they've come up with to replace just simple faith in God. So, this willy-nilly embracing all this stuff that these coming out of Europe and Russia and all this, you know, and socialism and Marxism. Yeah, I'm narrow-minded. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And when you wise up, you learn to roll and you're completely happy with just doing good, loving your neighbor, loving your God, and steer, steering clear of evil, clutter. So I'm narrow-minded for sure, but I'm thankful that I am. You should consider that narrow path. You say that right there, down that road right there, that's a path. It's narrow. You say, how much is that road there traveled? Very little, but I'm on it. I'm just sitting here. And I think of what the wisest man who ever lived, what he said, do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evil men. All kind of roads, but just get it down to two. One of them is narrow and it is straight and the other one is wide with a lot of twists and turns. Avoid the way of the evil men they're at. Do not travel on it. Don't get on that wide road. Stay on that narrow one right there. Turn from it and go on your way. Avoid it. This is Proverbs 4 verse 16. For they, the ones on that wide road, cannot sleep till they do evil. They can't even sleep until they do evil. They are robbed of slumber till they make someone fall. Have you noticed that when they finally get somebody and they drag up a sin on him, they hound him and hound him. They can't sleep. They're robbed of slumber till they make someone fall. We've got to bring him down. Forgiveness is not even an option with them. They eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Oh, it's America. This was written thousands of years ago. The path of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn. See that sun coming up back there? It's early in the morning. The path of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn. Woo! I'm glad I'm on this narrow road. You know why? Shining every ever brighter till the full light of day. Sun will be up after a while. But the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. Listen to this. They do not know what makes them stumble. All this vitriol and hatred we see that keeps coming out of our culture. The the ad hominem, ad infinitum 
charges against the president, anyone, they never stop. They get up in the morning, they just, they're calling it, they're saying they're unhand, the Trump derangement syndrome. They got all these words because they're thinking, what in the world is wrong with this bunch? They do not know what makes them stumble. They've been taken captive. They can't sleep until they do evil. It's the path of the wicked. It's the way of evil men. I know one thing, that this narrow mind in this, it gives you peace of mind, that's for sure. No doubt about it. I've been on both roads, see. The wide road, now I'm on the narrow road. Narrow road, much better. So you don't have to put your head and fill it with all that clutter. I mean, I've never even owned a cell phone. Think about it. 